Hey Scorpio, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for mid-month, uh, mid to late April 2023. And it's for Scorpio. It will resonate if this is your um, sun or rising. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio yourself, right? So take it how it resonates and leave the rest. Um, we're we're going to jump in and see what's coming in for you guys. Um, in love, romance, and partnership. If you enjoy these readings, do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a personalized tower reading, I do have a Mother's Day sale that is available for purchase now. You'll get it by Mother's Day, right before, well before Mother's Day, especially if you purchase now. It's only a seven-day turnaround, and it's at a special price for video readings, okay? Um, all right, so Scorpio, let's check you guys out. I'm going to get two cards out for the challenge. Two cards for Scorpio, the challenge they're dealing with pertaining to love, okay? Five of Pentacles, in a verse, and a two swords. So someone is working on making a decision to get back in your life, okay? So Scorpio, there's someone who feels left out, abandoned. They may feel like you're no longer interested in them, like you have forgotten them. There's a feeling of abandonment or neglect with the Five of Pentacles. And someone is wanting to get out of the cold, okay? So there's some kind of big decision that maybe they're waiting for you to make. There could be a big decision head of a heart regarding letting go of something, cutting something out so that they can make their way back in, okay? This decision seems a little bit difficult. Maybe it seems complicated. There could be someone else involved. So maybe there is a third party that someone has to make a head of a heart decision, choose one person over the other, and maybe that is getting in the way of them taking action with you. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In a recent past, relevant recent past for you, Scorpio, we have the Emperor in reverse, the Star in reverse, and the Page of Swords. This could be an Aquarius. In the past, I definitely feel like someone wasn't taking control of the connection. Someone wasn't willing to be that emperor, that provider, that protector, taking that lead role, right? Stepping up to the plate, being the bigger person. But it feels to me like someone just was not in a place where they were ready to heal something or deal with it, right? A lot of times when you're having to heal, you're having to deal with something, look at it head on, and someone was avoiding doing that. But at the same time, you know, it does feel like the Page of Swords, this is someone that was very interested, very curious, inquisitive about what you had going on, Scorpio. So, you know, this could be someone that maybe not, wasn't communicating very effectively or thoroughly with you. Page of Swords can mean like looking um, online, social media, trying to find out more information, but not asking you directly, right? So there's something going on where someone wasn't willing to really push this forward, be in that lead role with regard to this connection. And so maybe something wasn't working because of that. There also could be something you found out. Page of Swords could be something being leaked to you, okay? Something coming to you, some kind of information, insight, or news. Now, the current energy, Scorpio, we have the lovers, okay? The Ace of Rods, and we have the Eight of Cups in the verse. So the current energy, there is someone that wants to come back in. Why? Because the Eight of Cups talks about, you know, a lover walking away, and then in reverse position, they come right back in. So someone that may have left you in a recent past, it does feel like they're working on, you know, making that, taking that U-turn, making that U-turn, coming back in, and coming in for this new fiery beginning. Ace of Wands is fiery. It happens very quickly. It's sudden. It could definitely be shocking, but it also could be something that um, it feels intense. It feels passionate. It feels like someone comes in and it's electrifying. It's energizing. You know, it takes you by surprise. And the lovers could be someone ready to embark on a new beginning. Um, Ace of Rods, lovers coming together. Okay, so there's a decision, there's a choice. Obviously, with the lover's card, doesn't mean that you guys are going to live this happy ever after. But someone is coming back in to revisit a decision that they should have made perhaps a long time ago because someone recognized that there is a deep, strong soul connection here. The lovers, right? There is a divine connection. So give me the energy of this person, whoever you're connecting with, Scorpio. Two of Pentacles in the verse. We have the Knight of Rods in the verse, the Hangman, and the Three of Cups. So yeah, that Knight of Rods and the Three of Cups is definitely screaming, you know, this is someone that has been very in and out of your life, Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. I mean, the Knight of Wands is someone who plays around, doesn't take things serious, isn't really ready for a full-blown commitment. 
Um, also, the Three of Cups could be indicating other people, being flirtatious, dealing with other people, having other options, right? Having fun, just not really, again, ready for a commitment or any type of real stability. And I feel like maybe that was the issue. That could be why this person was out in the cold, why they put themselves out in the cold, or why you put them out in the cold. Because they weren't ready to settle down. On top of that, we have that two pentacles. So that really talks about that juggling, going back and forth, in and out. Sometimes they want you, sometimes they don't. And you could have gotten tired of that, right? The two of pentacles could feel like something's just very unstable. And you may have felt very insecure being with this person because there's that ping pong, right? That ping pong being uh, pinged around, right? Being literally ping ponged around, right? So the two of pentacles could be that, you know, something here had to go, right? Three of cups, two pentacles in verse. Someone here could be realizing that they're having to make a decision, head of a heart, two swords regarding a third party. And maybe it's like literally your person, hangman, looking at the situation differently, seeing worth or seeing some kind of value in this connection, wanting to come back in. It feels like ever since you guys have disconnected, they've been more curious about you more than ever. And if they've been avoiding taking action with the Emperor in reverse, the hangman could be like, oh, now I see that maybe I, I need to take some action. Maybe I can't be sitting on this connection like the way I've been doing. Because Scorpio will walk up and, and leave, right? Five of Pentacles, they're definitely feeling your absence. They're missing you. As far as the outcome, let's take a look. We have that Three of Swords energy in reverse. Could talk about some healing, purging, releasing, dealing with some kind of aftermath of a breakup or heartbreak. We have that Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Someone is definitely dealing with some kind of separation or breakup. And they even could be coming in Knight of Swords to communicate something to you. That outcome tells me someone is coming in to communicate something very clear about what they want. Nine of Cups, what would make them happy? What's their wish fulfillment? And maybe even how they can make you happy. There's some kind of pursuit right with the Knight. So someone could be communicating that they definitely um, want to heal the connection. They want to move past some kind of really difficult ending, something that really caused a lot of hurt to you, maybe regarding a third party or a betrayal. And they want to meet your needs. They want to make you happy. So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we could find out. If you guys enjoy this reading, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Give me that five of pentacles and that two swords energy, please. Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Why is that the challenge, please? Okay. Ace of Swords. So there's definitely communication coming in. Someone is working on making a head of a heart decision, cutting out something that no longer works for them, and ready to communicate something to you, Scorpio. There's news coming in. There's information. It's very direct. It's very honest. And it's truthful. Now, I will say, this is someone that's coming in to communicate because of Five of Pentacles in verse, they want to get out of the cold. So it's almost like they're coming in to finally be honest about a situation, maybe from the past, because they want to break through. They want to get back in your life. And that's the only way they know they can, right? So that is what I'm seeing. In the recent past, give me the energy of the Page of Swords. Definitely something about news. The Empress here. The Sun in the verse, the Star, and the Four of Rods. Four rods could definitely be confirmation that this is your twin flame. The star, there's healing, there's recovery, there's healing within a twin flame connection um, or a family home situation. But I also feel like Scorpio, the sun in reverse, there was something that was hidden from you. And, you know, it does feel like with the emperor, it could be a masculine, it could be your divine masculine, right? It could be a father figure. There's something that maybe this person was hiding and you may even have found out with the page of sword. It may have affected the home and family, but it feels like it happened because the star, it had to be healed. There's something that is coming up, something that may have triggered you, something related to your home, your family, or even a marriage with the four wands. And it feels like it's coming out and being revealed to you to heal, to be dealt with. Okay. So it feels like it's very personal. It feels like whatever happened, it feels like it's, it definitely is digging deep. Okay. The Hierophant. Yeah. There's a, there's a commitment. There's a marriage. Four wands is definitely commitment marriage as well. So there definitely is some kind of Marriage that is being tested, okay, because someone failed to take action or maybe even have taking action in stepping out of this relationship or marriage, right? And that could be why um, the Page of Swords is here. You're finding out the Sun universe has been hidden from you. And now that you're found out, it's, it's allowing you to deal with it. It's allowing you to heal it. Whatever, whatever insecurity, whatever fears that you may have. All right, 
And this can be in your person's end as well, right? There could be healing on both ends because we have the star coming out twice. Okay? <clears throat> so let's see the current energy. Ace of Rods, Eight of Cups in a verse. Someone wants to come back. King of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Chris. Could be that same person. We have strong Virgo energy. Hermit and the Emperor in reverse. So the current energy, Scorpio, is telling me that, you know, someone is willing to come in with some kind of honest, truthful communication. I definitely feel like the Hermit is that they've been doing a lot of deep thinking, looking for answers, looking for insight as to how to move forward, getting guidance, wisdom, knowledge on how to move forward in some way. Ace of Wands is they want movement. They want change. I also feel like the Emperor in reverse, this could be someone who walked out of the home or walked away from their fatherly duties because I'm seeing the Emperor, right? It doesn't have to be. Um, and now they want to return back to that. I, def I definitely feel like someone is rethinking their commitment to their family, home, wife, mother, okay, mother figure. And then we have a decision that has to be made because someone has really been doing thinking and now they get the guidance, right? The hermit. They've been doing a lot of soul searching and now they're coming in to communicate some kind of truth and maybe make a decision with the lover's card. Ace of Wands, New Beginning, King of Pentacles. Someone may be wanting to rise to that King of Pentacles energy, take on some kind of commitment or responsibility, something that comes with a lot of duties, work, obligations, long term, okay? That King of Pentacles is definitely more of a committed energy. So if you've been dealing with some serious commitment issues with someone, I do feel the King of Pentacles coming in could definitely bring more security and rebuilding a foundation that may have been broken, especially if there's been trust issues or past infidelity, okay? All right, let's take a look. That Two of Pentacles going back and forth, that Knight of Rods is your person's energy. You know, let's see what happened here. King of Cups in reverse, the Tower. And the Queen of Swords in reverse. So someone may have lied to you. I do feel like someone lied and it caused a huge tower moment. But there's so much more there to there, right? You know, the Two Pentacles and the Knight of Rods could be this person just not doing what they're supposed to do. Could be a lot of juggling, going back and forth, on and off. And you may have felt unloved, uncared for. That King of Cups in reverse, you definitely may have felt like your person took advantage of you on an emotional level. Or it could be causing a lot of emotional burden, hurt, and loss for you. That tower, Scorpio, that's you. There's a huge change and shift in energies. I do feel like maybe it's causing something to break down, fall apart before it can be rebuilt and uh, rebuilt on a more solid framework or structure. But I definitely get the sense of something here that may have been not communicated to you or not shared with you. Give me the energy of the hangman in reverse. They're looking at situation differently. And we have the Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it does feel like if there's been a break, there's been some kind of temporary break or hiatus, it's really allowing your person to recognize that, you know what, they've done some serious damage here because we have that Ten of Swords. Someone has definitely blindsided you, betrayed you, left you with Ten Swords in your back. Not cool. The good thing is that I do see the Page of Cups. So they recognize that. And they recognize there's a need to heal, but also they need to be forgiven. They need to apologize. They need to extend themselves and give a heartfelt offer, tell you how much they care, and seek your forgiveness. That is what I'm seeing in order for a new beginning to happen. That Ace of Pentacles is how they see moving forward. So this is definitely someone who's working on having a new beginning, fresh start, something that's going to bring long-term security, stability, right? And the Page of Cups could be like, obviously, they need your forgiveness first. They also could be doing a lot of deep thinking, with it hangman on how they can actually get your forgiveness, right? Because that could be something that is difficult in itself. Um, three Cups, they certainly want to come back together. Unity, harmony. And let's take a look. I mean, the outcome is the Three of Swords. So there's healing taking place, but the Knight of Swords could be coming in delivering some kind of truth in order for healing to take place. Um, especially, again, yeah, there's been lies. Knight of Swords and a verse and a justice card. Libra energy. Someone is definitely recognizing that maybe the lies they've told have caught up with them and are now having to make things right. The justice card, bring harmony, balance, fairness, equality back to a situation. They may have realized that by telling those lies, they definitely have caused a lot of hurt and they did you wrong. The justice card is now, I want to do things right. I want to repair this. I want to bring balance and harmony, right? I want to do the right thing. And there could be something here about communicating how they can make you happy. A Knight of Cups, 
because you're not offering your cup. That Knight of Cups is in reverse. So it makes you feel like if that's your energy, Scorpio, you may be closed off on the emotional level as a means to protect yourself from getting hurt again. That Three of Swords is, is really deep, right? And so, yeah, there could be definitely energy of your person wanting to meet your needs and make you happy again and wanting you to uh, drop your guards. There's the energy of wanting to get back and win your heart. That Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands does make me feel like you're protecting it deathly. You're deathly protecting your heart right now. And that is what your person is wanting you to repair or, or heal the connection, wanting you to heal from something they may have done. And that's why they're coming in communicating some kind of honest truth. It will make you happy, Nine of Cups. But let's see, will you be able to open up emotionally? It just really depends on you. Ace of Swords, Two Swords is the big decision you're having to make. And I think the challenge for you is, you know, Whatever um, you're finding out, Ace of Swords, whatever clarity you're getting, is it enough for you to then make that decision to a sword to get this person out in the cold? Will you be willing to receive this person? Will you be willing to let this person come back in your life after getting some kind of honest truth communication? There's a big decision here to a sword, and I think that's you. Scorpio, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this reading. And if you want a personalized tarot reading, all the information is in the description box below. I do have a Mother's Day sale available now if you're interested. Have a great week. All right, take care.